everybody. My name is DeAndre, a uh, special edition of Talking Shit. I just received confirmation that this man, uh, I don't even want to mention his name, is being, you know, he's going to go ahead and get to 60 years because of the attempted murder charges in regards to the young men that he tried to shoot up in this vehicle over here in Florida. I'm going to be talking with Patty as soon as I can. Uh, she's going through some personal stuff, but I'm going to get Patty on the podcast, and we're going to cover this story. So at first it's Trayvon Martin. Now they got some more shit starting, because now they're going to have killed uh, Jordan Davis, who's 17 years old. Apparently Dunn looked into the vehicle and just started shooting people. He claimed that he saw a gun, a gun that nobody has found. Um, and to not be able to, 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 to what the fuck, how, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is ridiculous, right? Okay, in the spirit of Trayvon Martin, I mean, come on, you mean to tell me that this man says that he thought he saw a gun because he heard the loud rap from somebody else's son, and he decided to take it upon himself and go over to the vehicle, walk away from his vehicle, walk away from his wife, to go over to the vehicle to then stand his ground. This law is a problem. I've been warning y'all about this for a while now. Trayvon Martin is dead. Uh, Jordan Davis is dead. I have two nephews. What are they going to do about this? They're going to keep letting these people kill these other men, these, these boys, these young men, these black men. They're going to let these guys just keep killing these people because you are threatening me. I would hate for the black community to take on that position in regards to the stand that this country has been on for years in regards to whether or not as a black man, we are in fear or feel a threat historically you, after being enslaved for 400 years we should automatically be standing our ground with these people if that's the way we're going to look at it that you feel danger because of a threat and if you look at our lives historically in this space if we want to go there Aren't we really supposed to be feeling threatened? You know? Are we going to stand our ground and just start shooting anything around here that reminds us of the overall sociological threat of being a black man in this country? It's ridiculous. And I'm going to keep yelling and screaming about it because I can't stand it. I don't promote violence. But I'm not going to be a fool and act like I don't see it. And they kill, he killed, he leaned into the car and shot those people and killed that boy. And Jordan Davis is dead. And I pray, oh God, for the dead boy's family. I don't know. I'm just, I, I just, I had to do something. I don't want JP messing with this. I, I just cannot believe that this man was not convicted for a murder that he committed. I don't even know what time of the day was. Was it in broad daylight when he decided that he was threatened by the loud music and the black children and the black kids? This boy was a minor. Um, and he attempted to murder the people that were in the van, but the guy who got killed, he didn't actually get convicted for that murder that took place. How do these jurors, and who are these, let me just talk to the jury real quick, okay? If you're on the jury, in this particular case, you should go and find the jury that were in that other case for Zimmerman. And y'all need to get together and be like Quentin Tarantino's endings of his movies and just shoot each other's motherfucking asses. That's all I want to say about it. No offense to you, Quentin. I, I don't like a lot of your movies, so bye.